Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can design a modern and professional website for your furniture or home decor business. The website I'll be showing you how to make is adaptable for many types of businesses in the home decor realm. I'll be breaking down in depth how to create a modern, minimal style homepage, how to optimize your button links and your navigation links to create a very smooth navigation for when your customers are on your website. Then I'll briefly cover how you can quickly set up a blog section and add a blog post. This is for in case you'd like to write some blog post articles talking about home decor and furniture and promoting your products. Without further ado, let's get straight to this video. To get started on your website, here you're going to open a Shopify and you're going to click online store, then themes. You can customize your currently published theme, or really quickly you can install one of Shopify's free themes. You're going to want to make sure your website is published. I'll start off by showing you how to lay out your homepage. Starting off with the announcement bar of the website, this is where you can put in announcements for new launches, new sales and discounts, and more. For a more minimal look, I'll be removing the announcement bar section, and I'll be clicking on this header. Here under desktop logo position is where you can reposition the logo and menu bar links. You'll have a couple other options for the header. For example, you can apply a sticky header. This way, when customers are scrolling through your website, if you select always, the header will remain at the top of the website. When you click theme settings, then logo, this is where you can upload your brand's logo and your favicon image. You have the option to adjust the size of the display of the logo. I'm going to click on the image banner section, and I'll be uploading a picture for the background of this section. I'm going to remove the container on desktop. Then here under image overlay opacity, you have the option to make this image darker. I'm going to change this to a color scheme where the text and the button labels will be white. I'm going to set the banner height to adapt to first image. Then you'll have a few other editing options for this section. Then here's how it's going to look on a mobile display. When you click theme settings, then open that color scheme. You can edit the text colors, the button labels, the background color, and more. I'm going to go ahead and add a heading text. And you'll have the option to make this text larger or smaller. Next, I'm going to add a mini description line. Then you can edit the button links. And I'm going to link this to the All Collections page. Then you'll have a couple editing options for the mobile layout. For example, I'll be removing the container on mobile. This way, the text and the button label will appear over that image. Next, I'm going to click Add Section. And here, I'm going to import an email signup. This is a great way to encourage visitors to join your email list. Next, this is where I'm going to import a mini About Us section. So I'll just be adding a rich text. Then you can proceed to customize this section however you would like. Here, when you insert your text, you'll have a couple different text options. So you can edit the sizing of the text. You also have the option to insert a link to lead to another URL or to another page within your website. And when you click on this section, you can reposition the content alignment. You can also edit the color scheme. And here's how the mobile version of this section is going to appear. For this next section, this is where I'm going to import a collection list to feature the product collections. You can feature multiple different product collections. On the mobile version, you can choose to display two columns at a time. Or for a smoother navigation, you can enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a collection, this is where you can select each individual collection you would like to feature. I'm going to break down in depth how you can add a product collection to your Shopify store. Then I'm going to get into how you can customize this navigation bar, your contact and your all collections page. And I'll show you also how you can add a link to your navigation bar to feature your blog. Really quickly, here is an example of a more advanced version of this website I created. For some examples of how you can add that professional touch to your Shopify store, you can include a moving slideshow. You can also include a couple sections to help feature the quality and uniqueness that your brand offers. You can feature some collections, include a customer reviews section. And if you'd like, you can also choose to display a few blog posts on the homepage of your website. If you're interested in this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I put together this Shopify theme designed for home decor, furniture, and appliance businesses. And this is a customizable Shopify template. So you'll have the option to add your product, your pictures, and to change elements like the tech and add or remove sections. I have many types of Shopify theme templates designed for home decor businesses. And I also have some for other types of businesses, including clothing, beauty, and dropshipping stores. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify themes, how it works is after your order, you're going to receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you'll have the option to install that straight into your store. Then you can publish it and make changes and add your products. Here's an example of how you can customize this home decor theme template to fit a home appliances business. This home decor Shopify theme is a template bundle so it also includes some logo templates, web banner templates, and more. I will link my Shopify templates in the description box below. Alright, next I'm going to show you how you can create a product collection for your store so that you can add them to that collection list. I'm going to click products, then click collections. You can title this product collection and you can write a mini description if you would like. I'm going to click save. Then here when you click browse, this is where you can manually select which products you would like to add to this product collection. Then you're going to open your website. And for the collection list, when you click on one of these collections, this is where you can select to feature that brand new collection. 
when customers click on this collection, it's going to take them to the full page that includes those products that you added. I'd recommend having most of your shop now button links lead to your all collections page since that's going to be the page where customers can really see all your product collections laid out. Here's an example of how the all collections page is displayed. Next, I'll be showing you a way that you can lay out this page to help create a user-friendly experience when customers are scrolling through this page. Here under template, I'm going to click add section and I'm going to insert a rich text. You have the option to reposition this section. Then I'll title this the name of the category of collections I'll be featuring. This is just going to create a text banner to section off each part of this page. I'm going to click on the collection list. Then I'm going to hide this section. Then I'm going to click add section and import a collection list. I'll be removing this heading text. Then you can choose how many columns you want to feature. Then I'll be duplicating each of these sections multiple times to represent as many product categories as this store sells. So let's say your store sells dozens of different types of products under the furniture category. So you may have a product collection for living room furniture, dining room furniture, and bedroom furniture. And this next section is going to be for your appliance categories. So let's say you sell kitchen appliances, bathroom appliances, and laundry appliances. And then this last section is going to be for accent decor. Laying out your collection page like this is a great way to help create a more user-friendly experience for your customers. Next, for the mobile version, I'm going to click on the collection list and I'm going to set the number of columns to 2 and I'll be enabling the swipe on mobile just to minimize the display of this page on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how to optimize and add links to your main menu and your footer menu. I'm going to click navigation, then click main menu. This is where you can edit or remove the current menu items and you can add new menu pages. I'm going to start by adding a link to that all collections page. And I'm going to remove a link from the catalog page. Then you can add more pages. For example, you can add a link for your search bar. You can add links to specific collections or specific products within your store. And you can add links to other pages within your website. I'm going to add a link to the default blog that's here in the Shopify store. Then you're going to click to open the footer menu. And you can repeat those steps to customize your footer menu. I'm going to add a link to the home page. Then I'm going to add a link to the blog. And feel free to add more links to other pages. Next, when you go to open your website, this is where you can see the new display of the menu. Here under footer, I'm going to click add block and I'm going to insert a menu block. And you want to make sure that this is linked to your footer menu. Then I'm going to click add block and I'm going to insert an image. And this is where I'm going to upload the brand's logo. And here's the display of the finished footer menu. Then last, I'll be showing you how to customize your contact page and how to create and add a blog post. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can do your contact page. First off, I'm going to click on this title section and I'll be hiding this. Then I'm going to click add section and I'm going to import a rich text. I'm going to reposition this right above the contact form. Then I'll be removing this button label and I'm going to duplicate this section. And this is where you can insert any contact information that you would like to display. And when you click on the rich text, you also have the option to reposition the content. And that's just going to be a quick way you can add your contact details to the contact form page. Next, I'm going to click to open this blog page. And this is where you can begin to customize this page. Under template, I'm going to click add section and I'm going to insert an image banner. And for this image banner part, you can just insert some text to describe or introduce what your blog is about. Next, you're going to click add section and here I'm going to insert a blog post section. Then I'm going to scroll up and you can choose to keep in this blog post section. I'll just be hiding this and I'm going to click on the new section and I'm going to remove the heading text. And this is where every new blog post that you add to a specific blog is going to be featured. I'm going to click select blog. Then you can select that blog. That way, every new blog post that you add to this news blog, if you set that blog post to visible, it should display in this area. Currently, this is just a default blog post that I have already added. Here on Shopify, you're going to click blog posts. Then I'm going to click add blog post. And this is where you'll be able to upload the content for your blog post. I'm going to set this page to visible. Right here under blog is where you can assign it to that news blog. And I'm going to start by inserting the title for the blog. 
So for the example text, I'll just be using ChatGPT to write out this text. And when you go to edit this text, you have many different text editing options. You can choose to make the text larger or smaller. You can select specific text and you can insert an external link or a link leading to another page within your store. And also when you click this insert image icon, you can upload pictures throughout the blog post. Once you're done with that, you can upload a featured image for the blog if you would like. You want to save your blog post, then I'm going to click view. And this is where you can see in full screen mode, the finished and final display of your blog post. Blogs can be a great way to help you feature and promote your products. So I would recommend inserting some links throughout your blog that leads to your products that you are showing in the blog post. This can help to convert readers into customers. When customers click on the blog section here on your website, this is going to be along the lines of how your finished blog page is going to appear. And here's how those featured blog posts are going to appear. And once you're done, this is going to be your finished beginner friendly home decor website. Don't forget, you can take a look at the more advanced version of this website. They get some tips for additional sections that you can add to your store. And this is one of my Shopify themed templates. I will have this link in the description box below. But I have a wide variety of Shopify themed templates designed for many different businesses, including whether you sell home decor, clothing and apparel products, beauty and cosmetics, and also have Shopify templates for drop shipping and print on demand businesses. These Shopify templates will help you to save a ton of time from just designing your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify themed templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a zip file format. That's going to be your theme file. And here on Shopify, under your theme library, Shopify gives you the option to click upload a zip file. And that's where you can install that theme zip file directly into your store. You can publish it and make further customizations like adding your pictures and your products. This specific home decor website has a very modern, cohesive, and user-friendly layout. Those Shopify templates will be linked in the description box below for you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching.